All right, you guys, so. What you doing with a girl with all that? It's Sierra Monet, aka Barbie LC, and I'm back again with another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I customize my lace frontal. First, we're going to start off by bleaching the knots. Of course, y'all already know, you know, you got to bleach the knots. Um, I'm using 40 volume developer and some BW2 powder that I got from the hair store. Y'all can get them from any hair store, wherever. I believe Sally's got it too, but yeah. You want to have like a paste consistency as you can see right here it's not coming off so treat it like Dairy Queen you know how they be flipping over the ice cream and yeah do that <laughs> um, and I'm going to lightly press the bleach and onto my lace you want to be very careful that you don't press too hard and that your um, bleach powder is not too runny so that way it won't go through the lace and you know get on the hair because that won't be good. Okay, so after we get that all on the lace, I'm just going to place some aluminum foil on it. It just kind of speeds up the process a little bit. And I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes and let it sit. So right here, I already plugged one side off camera and I'm about to do the other side on camera. So I'm going to show y'all a little before and after. This is how the lace comes. Um, it's, I don't, I don't, it's not plugged at all. I'm, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you would call this pre-plugged. I wouldn't, but yeah. So basically all I'm going to do is section out a little piece of, um, a little, little bit of hair. What am I saying? I'm going to just section off a little bit of hair and this is going to be used as my baby hair. So I'm just going to set that to the side so I won't pluck any of it away just yet. Um, and I'm going to start plucking my hairline. This time when I was plucking my wig, I tried to have a hairline in mind. Like I really love those square hairlines with the little baby hairs. all on. Like y'all let's see what hairline I was going for because I think I achieved that hairline. But um, I was going for that, so that's kind of the direction I was going in as far as plucking. Um, you don't want to stay in one area for too long when you're plucking because that is how you can over pluck fast and in a hurry. Um, and you just want to make sure that you are combing the hair as you go or like finger combing it so that way you can know which area you've already plucked and where you have to pluck more. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just keep on plucking and I'll let y'all watch this, um, and yeah. Thank you. 
Okay, so as y'all can see, I started plucking out the hairline um, and the baby hairs. Um, just so we won't have like really dense baby hairs because I don't like really thick baby hairs. I don't think that really looks natural. But I mean, if you like that, go for it. But I'm gonna take this eyebrow razor and I'm gonna go in a downward motion. This is so that way the bottom, the hair by your ear can be longer than the hair um, that you're placing at the top. If that makes any sense to y'all, it makes sense to me. But I mean, you can pretty much see what I'm doing. Cutting it in like a diagonal, um, kind of giving it like a layer effect, as you can see. Um, and yeah, the shorter the baby hairs, the more natural it will look. Um, but I wouldn't cut it too short until it is on your head. So yeah, I'm going to take the Nairobi foam wrap, y'all. When I tell y'all I just bought this stuff and I am in love with it. Oh my goodness, like this is the holy grail, like this is the holy grail. If you don't have this stuff, you need to get this stuff like, or any type of foam wrap. If you're trying to make your wig or your frontal lay down, you need to get this foam wrap or any foam wrap. Um, I recommend this one because I'm, I'm using it, obviously, but <laughs> the only thing about foam wraps is you need a lot of it. Like don't, don't be shy with the product. Like especially when you're trying to do it on a wig because it's not going to really have the same effect that it would have on an actual person's head so that's why the baby hair is kind of like stick back up and yeah I end up having to use more but that's just because it was on a canvas blockhead so yeah I'm going to cut these hairs a little bit shorter um just seeing what you like like it's all about what you like and how you see it and you know if you liking it or not so just keep playing around with it keep plucking if you need to keep cutting if you need to um it's all about what you see like what you see is what you get like <laughs> So this is what we looking like, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take these rapid strips and I'm just going to place that around the head just so that everything can dry and set. Um, this is how much hair I plucked out so that you can get an idea of how much is too much, how much is too less. Because I know when I first started plucking, I was like, oh my goodness, like all of this hair, like I'm doing it wrong. No, you're doing it right. Like <laughs> you're doing it right. You're doing everything right. Um, now I'm just going to go into the styling portion. All I'm doing is flat ironing it. Um, right now I'm just blow drying it. I'm doing a quick dry so that way when I actually go in with my brush, it won't take as long to dry um, because it's already like 90% dry. So quick tip. Okay, y'all, so another two products that I've been using that I absolutely love is the BioSilk Thermal Shield and the Shine On Spray. Shine On Spray is, you know, a shiner. <laughs> like, it adds shine to the hair. It's very lightweight. It's not super oily, so it doesn't weigh the hair down or anything or make it look greasy or anything. So I really like that about it. You can use as much of it because, yeah, it's light. Um, and then the thermal spray, of course, is a heat protectant because I am flat ironing the hair. And I'm using the Infinity Pro flat irons. And I think I got these from Ulta, I believe. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I feel like everybody should know by now that the hot comb is an essential tool for frontals, wigs, closures, whatever. This is going to lay everything into place. Yes. So, this is pretty much the final look. I'm just going to spray some hairspray on it. I do have a video coming of how I made this wig on my sewing machine. This is the first wig I ever made on the sewing machine. So, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will also see you guys in my next video. Deuces!